It's three o'clock on Wednesday, and we go live every time. Hi, guys. It's Randy at Blue Ridge Winery, where the mission is always to add value to your life. It's going to be a great summer, guys. Holy cow. And, you know, if you have not done the Wine and Wisdom series with Dr. Heather Fiedler, it happens on the last Sunday of every month. You can get your ticket on Eventbrite, guys. Try it. You're going to love it. It's great stuff. Heather is wonderful. You will love the presentation. It's so good. Mary, I see you. Veronica, I see you. Guys, I'm in the vineyard room. I got Kathy over here, right? <laughs> Kathy. Tina's out, or uh, Teresa's went outside. Uh, man, guys, thanks for joining me today. This is going to be another fun one. Wow. So you notice that we've been doing catchphrases in society. Mrs. C, I see you, Arlene. I see you. <laughs> Shereen, I see you. <laughs> and Ken, I know you're out there, Ken, dude. Man, I want to say thank you for helping me with the van this past week. Thanks, man. Jada, dude, Jaden, I see you, man. Hope you're having fun. <laughs> Missy, <laughs> I love the hearts. Thanks, y'all. Oh, my God. So today's topic is sharpening the saw. Man, you know this concept, sharpening the saw? It's great stuff. We're going to tear it apart, analyze it, add value to our life. I hope you enjoy this, guys. Good to see y'all. So Stephen Covey made this popular. Come on in, Teresa. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Stephen Covey made this popular in, in his book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Great book. Everyone should read it. It's good stuff. If you haven't read it, take a read. Betty Gambucci. I see you, Betty. How are you? <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> he says that this is his seventh habit of highly effective people. He says that sharpening the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset that you have, which is you. You are the greatest asset you'll ever have. Your mind, your body, it's the best asset you'll ever have. And if it's not your job to improve it, whose is it, <laughs> right? It's always our job. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln has a quote on this. Abraham Lincoln says this. He says, if you gave me six hours to cut down a tree, I would spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. I love that because it's all about preparation. And my mom has a quote on this too, guys. My mom would say, Randy, we make a choice. You either choose to prepare for success or you choose to repair the past. But the choice is yours every day. Choose to prepare for success. I love it, right? Anne Marie! <laughs> I like that. Randy! <laughs> God, they're funny. Zig Ziglar, if you haven't studied Zig Ziglar, man, I'm all about that guy. I love Zig. I grew up with Zig, you know? Man, my mom would have Zig Ziglar in the car all the time. Going anywhere we go, Zig Ziglar's talking to us. And I gotta admit, when I was younger, I didn't like that guy too much. But now, oh my God, I love that guy. <laughs> What's happening, Diane? I see you. Zig, Zig Ziglar says this, the only thing worse than training employees and losing them is not training them and keeping them. <laughs> That's a good point, right? Man, Invest in yourself, invest in others. Steven! Dude, Steven, I saw you for like a split second this past week at the, at the, uh, at the, at the, the, the wine, the wine get together. Oh my gosh, I hate that I missed you, man. I was gonna give you the biggest hug ever. Dude! So, we can't know the future, and there's no hope for the past. Take life as God made it, one day at a time. With God's good grace, your journey is gonna be long to a destiny that you don't know where you're going. Yes, the future has no guarantees, but prepare every single day like you are a superstar rock star destined for greatness. I love that. Missy, I'm with you. God, Ben Franklin, he weighs in on this stuff too. And we've all heard his quote. I bet you've all heard this over and over. Ben Franklin says, failing to prepare is the same as preparing to fail. So true. So much of success in life is preparation, isn't it? In fact, the more you prepare, the less you will struggle in life, period. On every level for everything. And Marie, yes, I'm with you, right? <laughs> Yasmin, I see you. Holy cow. I love that. Preparing for success in life has nothing to do with future decisions, but about the decisions you're making today that's going to affect you in the future. You with me? I look at it like this. There's the today you, and then there's the future you. Make decisions today that your, the future you is going to say, thank you for doing that. Thank you for making great decisions long ago so I can experience the benefits today. You with me on this? Good stuff, right? Oh, my God. Fern, I see you, Fern. How are you? Pope Francis takes this beyond our time on earth. Pope Francis says, the whole journey of life is a journey of preparation. Now, that's some long-term planning right there, isn't it? I like that. But remember... All this preparation, if you prepare and prepare and prepare and prepare, it does not guarantee your success. It doesn't. But you know what it does guarantee? It guarantees your confidence along the way. And that's half the battle, isn't it? Man, another beautiful side effect of preparation 
is that opportunities, they don't make you look unprepared because you can seize them, because you've prepared for that moment, because you never know when it's going to come. Everything you do or have done in your life is training you for what lies ahead of you. That's true. So train well every day. Here's a fact of life. When we say it's hard, it actually means I'm not strong enough. Stop saying it's hard. Become stronger than what's hard, and life becomes simple. Life is not cruel or kind. Life simply reveals everyone's preparation or lack thereof every day to everybody around them. That's the way life really works. Let's end this talk with a great quote of sharpening the saw, preparing for success by the great, quote, co by the great coach John Wooden. Man, you know, someone I looked up to the most in life is uh, John Maxwell. And John Maxwell looks up to John Wooden. God, I've studied everything I can study about John Wooden. He says this, don't measure yourself by what you have accomplished, but by what you should have accomplished with the abilities that you have. I love y'all. Thanks for being part of my life. Thanks for making this dream possible. It's going to get better and better and better every day. This summer is going to rock beyond anything. Kathy, <laughs> Teresa, Sally, Lizzie, Tiff, everyone at part of Blue Ridge is preparing for the most wonderful summer of your life. Join us. See y'all. Bye, guys. You're all so much fun. Bye, everyone.